Bakes, welcome back to my kitten raids. I'm Eleanor and this is my May Alcrate unboxing for the uh, Young Adult box. So let's open it up and see what's in. Okay, so this month's theme is Traverse the Realms. And oh, we've got some non-dark, uh, we've got some actual interesting artwork this time. Uh, it's been a little while since we've had some of the more interesting, easy to see artwork. Um, so yeah, it's a river between two, looks like like birch trees or something with mountains in the distance. So that's the artwork. What do we have? A lot of boxes it looks like. Okay, so this is place your delicious dishes that transcend the realms on this ceramic trivet inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I haven't read it. This trivet features a stunning design representing the transition between the kingdoms. It has been beautifully illustrated by Anne Guinard. I think that was um, what was spoil carded in the last box. And I think this is not the first one we've had of these. Um, ooh, but it's very pretty sort of, I want to say Japanese or maybe Chinese style artwork. With a, with a crescent moon in sort of beautiful pinks and oranges and purples with buildings down the bo around the bottom. But it's very lovely and useful. Definitely useful. Um, you know, I always love a practical gift. Um, so useful for putting down hot plates and that kind of stuff. So there we go. And now what do we have? We have... Ooh, our crate sort of looks like a map of London it is and it's in fact sort of I figured it's uh, a darker shade of magic V Schwab themed and it's a pen it's a red London pen um, loving features artwork lovingly illustrated by Legion of Potatoes uh, cool so pens love pens Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Again, I've never read any VA Schwab, so ooh, it says Red London. And it's red that then goes down to a black silhouette of a character. Cool. And it's a, ooh, it's a clicky pen. I haven't had a clicky pen in a while. But that is useful. Excellent. Love to some stationery. And now we've got another box, large box, and it says... Look inside this mirror and see beyond the invisible boundary between a human and fairyland. Inspired by the buried in the bound. Again, not something I've read. Our mirror is a magical piece to keep on your dresser and it's double-sided. Designed with love by Yatasman Shiropa, the pearled reader. Ooh, so like a mirror. Which, again, useful. Um, I've got like some previous little hand mirrors from our crate. And like I've got a lengthy, a long mirror on my bedroom wall, and there's a bathroom mirror, but nothing that I can sort of keep handy to help with like hair and stuff. Um, I don't wear much in the way of makeup, but oh, it's hard to get out because there's so much. Um, I'm trying not to get polystyrene everywhere because it'll be a hell to clean up. It's kind of so, ooh. so, it's got a little stand and it's embossed with a sword with leaves and some starry, some sparkly starry things. Um, and it says, on this side we've just got mushroom, a mushroom and some more leaves. It says, if you forget me, I'll remind you. And then on the other side, if you... Flip it up, oh, flip it upside down. It says, everything, absolutely everything has a price. Ooh. So that's handy. Very handy. I'll find some way to put that. <clears throat> now, what else do we have in here? We have, ooh. <gasps> oh, I think this is Lord of the Rings themed. Looking at, it's like a travel label um a metal bag tag uh lord of the rings inspired it is designed by Teresa chen 
at Divine Literary. So it's, I could tell it was Lord of the Rings because it's got that kind of uh, the leaf pin design, you know, not idly to the leaves of Lorien Fall, the one that, uh, the cloak pin that uh, Galadriel gifted to the hobbits. Um, so there's a little uh, metal um, attachment and I've just dropped the actual name tag, but it says Traveller with, with the pin. So, and there's a, like, you slide the name tag in there. Um, and so you can see the name. And then I assume you attach pin using, hmm, somehow. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I'll figure it out. But it's Lord of the Rings thing. And you know me, I love Lord of the Rings themed thing. Then we have the pin for, the slidey pin for uh, this month, which is the Perfect Pairings Collection is a limited edition Percy Jackson and the Olympians pin, which I have read. I have read Percy Jackson and I've watched the movie. I haven't seen the new TV series yet. Um, okay, I see. So it's a scene... Um, in the water with I think Percy reaching out and whichever female character is with him I can never remember the name it's been a long time since I read it uh reaching out to him as well and it's again one of these perfect pairing slidey pins so that's pretty and something I actually know uh so what else the last thing we have is the book which is called Song of the Six Realms by Judy I. Lynn. So, Song of the Six Realms by Judy I. Lynn. Um, it sets like, looks like it's a Chinese themed fantasy. Um, and it's about a character as you who is often taken in by a kindly uncle who teaches her music. And she's a talented musician. And he arranges for her to have lessons and learn a lot. Um, but then when uh, he dies and he, he, she no longer has any connection to the outside world because she doesn't remember anything from before her opening, um, she seems to be destined for a life of playing for nobles who, the, who like her playing but look down on her social status. Then she gets invited to perform for a private performance for a duke. Um, and he offers her a great deal where she plays for him for three years and then he'll uh, release her from her indenture. Um, but then they get attacked by a monster and he takes her away and she discovers that actually he's one of the uh, rulers of one of the six realms um, and practically divine and monster incursions are increasing and he needs to figure out how and that answer is somewhere in her heritage that she doesn't know about so they need to figure that out while trying not to die so yeah so sounds like it might be interesting gorgeous sprayed edges um signed uh beautiful end papers beautiful artwork in the dust jacket gorgeously uh gold embossed hardcover beautiful edition as all out crate ones tend to be um, the only other things are, of course, the uh, newsletter, which has interviews and recommendations um, and challenges and stuff like that. And the spoiler card for June, which I have already received the email saying it's on its way. And the theme for June is One Step Ahead, which has what looks like the tales of Chinese dragons or Japanese dragons on it. And every June box will include an exclusive item designed by Francis Designs. Okay, and I can't quite tell. It looks like maybe notebooks or something like that. Anyway, that's the Alcrate Young Adult box for May. What's my favourite item? As much as I love the fact that there was all the rings themed stuff, I don't know how much use I will get out of the book tag um, if I can figure out how to attach it to things. Not the book tag, the luggage tag. Um, the pen is probably the thing I will get the most use out of and I love a clicky pen. 
um the mirror is also something that I don't really have something of that size and portability 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 to put on my on my dressing table um which when I say dressing table it's a set of shelves so mm. um but yeah it's all really nice stuff though so that's great um the book sounds kind of interesting oh it's also got a um this has become more common in recent times it's got a, a ribbon bookmark in it so that's cool um but yeah that is the may owl crate um i'll see you again really soon bye